that is a lot of controversy about our troops being overseas. That um, you know, we send our troops there to try and stop terrorism and, and try, try and um, train the locals to be able to defend for themselves. With the issue of the refugees, it has become out of control. You know, we have legitimate, legitimate people trying to get into this country. The waiting lists are enormous. Um, the, it, um, you know, families. I worked in the federal politician's office for a while. The families used to come and upset because they paid tens of thousands of dollars to legit legitimately get their families in here, and they couldn't because of this um, issue we're having with the refugees. And look, and I, I do. I've met some of these people. And my, some of them are the most delightful people you would come across. But we just can't take the whole world in, into Australia. We've got to toughen up the, the rules on it um, and do this all legitimately because. My worry is that these people that are throwing their um, passports or identification over, you know, overboard, we can't identify who they are and you know, do they belong to terrorist cells. So we've got to be you know, very, very careful. The argument could be made if legitimate uh, asylum seeker processes were working, we wouldn't need the less legitimate options of, seek, of you know, getting on a boat or paying a, a people smuggler. Mm. How do you intend to deal with that issue of, of dealing with those refugees waiting in camps for sometimes 10 or 15 years in countries in Africa and Asia and some of those uh, places we've seen 2 million refugees out of the, like, the most recent Syria yeah. conflict alone. Yeah. Well, um, we, have, um, we, we have said that we will increase the intake slightly on that, but we, we've just got to control these boat people, we really do. Um, we just can't keep, you know, it's costing us billions and billions of dollars. This could be spent on our own local people, our own pensioners, our schools, our roads. Um, we've got to control the conflict overseas, and that is why the Australian troops and the US forces are in these countries to try and get it under control so that we can um, you know, try and get a bit of harmony in the world.